Hi there again, this is Bob Chu from Stewart Boat Works and Isla Mirada Boat Works. You know, we have customers, boat owners from as far north as Maine, as far west as Texas, and everywhere in between, a lot of those customers, some of them, let's say, have never been to our shop. And I thought, if you're thinking to come see us, have us build a boat, you might want to see where we build them, see the shop, and get a feel for what we do. You might be familiar with our products that we build right now. 27 Stewart, 23 Stewart on the far end, and of course 24 Isla Mirada Bay Boat in the center. So welcome, come on in. So we're in our front office now, the reception area, office manager's office, our purchasing manager's office. Then as you come this direction, we have a large conference room. Continue down the way. My office, our operations manager's office, pictures of boats that we've built, a little lunch area, more of my office, parts room, air conditioned parts room, the owner's office, and then we go into the shop area. So we've now gone to the back of our back building. We have two buildings. And this is where it all begins. This is where we store the molds. Again, we currently only build three models, so there's not an excessive number of molds, but we store them here, keep them covered, and then when that particular boat is going to be built, we go ahead and wheel them around and put them in the back of the building, and we'll go ahead over there and you'll see where we start that process. So we're starting at the beginning of the build process, and this is referred to as the itchy sticky groom. This is traditional boat building here where things are hand laminated. Uh, in this room, um, of our 12 employees, we have two that work here. Uh, and the decks, the hulls, the, the deck caps, they would all be brought in through the back. Um, and they'll be processed here where the, the, the mold will be waxed, the color will be sprayed, a skin coat will be put on, and that's all that's done to the hull deck or the deck cap. Um, on the Stewart's and Isla Mirada's. Then we open the door here, slide it through, and everything becomes infusion um, from that point on forward. Here, uh, the guys build consoles uh, inside, interior consoles, exterior consoles, hatches, uh, fish box tubs, uh, hard tops, uh, everything that's a smaller part, essentially, that we don't have, we can't justify infusing those parts, so the, those are traditional boat built, hand laminated parts. All right, so we leave the itchy, sticky room, come into the area where we do all of our resin infusion. Colton and Cameron, the Infusion Brothers, they infuse every hull, deck cap, and liner that we build for the Stewart's and Isla Mirada's. Uh, right now they're in a process on a 24 Isla Mirada of loading the boat. Uh, this will probably be completed. It, this includes stringers. We're, a lot of people infuse, not a lot of, well not a lot of people infuse, but of those that infuse, very few of them infuse stringers at the same time, which, which we're pretty well known for. Um, this boat will probably be fully loaded by uh, today's Tuesday, probably by Thursday, I would assume. Um, and then probably the, the bag will go on and it'll be infused, probably ready uh, Monday morning as a guest. Very clean process, very good for the environment. Traps all the fumes, unlike the itchy sticky room. Um, and this is a process we've talked about in other videos about the strength ratio that's gained. Um, and you know, just the cleanliness of the whole process and the better boat that resin infusion creates. So as the boats come through the process, you can see we left the infusion area. Once it's infused, it will roll forward here. And then it goes into our assembly, which is basically a one man, on occasion two man, but uh, we have Jose as our assembled guy here. So uh, this is a 24 deck for that 24 hull behind us. This boat's gone to Dolphin Island, Alabama. Um, so he does all the work here. Um, you know, cleats, rod holders, rod holders, handrails, 
and so forth. And, and this is the area where the sub-assembly takes place. So now we're going to leave the back building and we're going to go to the front building where still a little assembly takes place but mostly it's our rigging shop. So now we're in the rigging shop. Um, this is where we have four or five guys depending on exactly what boats are in here and what process they're in. Um, here you can see we have 24 Isla Mirada. It's about ready to go to great guy up in the Washington DC area, Virginia Beach area. Um, and this is where we do all the rigging. So from trolling motor in the bow all the way to the motor, jack plate, power poles, electronics, literally to the point where the boat's ready to be delivered to the customer. 24. This is uh, our new 18 Isla Mirada skiff. Um, it's not decked yet, obviously. We will be talking about this shortly, but we'll do that a couple weeks from now. Um, and at 27 Stewart, some of you might have seen this boat. Really high-end finish with a lot of pretty, for us, exotic options. Uh, and this boat's actually for sale um, and readily available. The only boat we have of that nature. So that, that's the basics of the rigging shop. A lot more goes on here, but at this point in time, um, guys are on break. So. Well, I'm glad you took this time to see our shop and uh, get to know how we operate and who we are a little bit better. Um, it's, it's a great thing that I've wanted to do this video for a couple of years now, and we finally just said we got to do it. So thanks for joining us. Um, Maybe someday you'll be sitting in this chair across from my desk and ordering a really special Stuart or Isla Mirada boat for yourself. Thanks again.